Hey guys and gals, what's up? It's I, Deathstroke. <laughs> Not really. It's just me when I crow. But guess what? Today I'm coming at you with an unboxing video, and it's unfortunately not Deathstroke, but it does deal with the DC Universe. It's another Batman. I guess it's as good as Deathstroke, right? <sighs> Anyways, let me get out of this mask because it is super hot in here, and uh, let's get into the video. So, what's up, guys and gals? How's it been? I know it's been a little bit, just a little bit, since I have released or done a cam to face type video, but uh, I'm back. Actually, I do want to start off by saying thank you. Thank you to, uh, thank you to everybody who's been so supportive along the years. Um, I know it's always been a dream for me to be able to make it either through here on YouTube or Twitch or just something that I really, really want that deals with a dream and a goal that I've had set for years. And uh, sometimes it, I'm gonna be honest, it feels like I'm going nowhere. You know, sometimes I feel like I'm stuck and I'm running in place. Um, maybe like one of those nights where you're just gaming and you're so tired that you kind of like fade out for a minute and you wake up and you see your character running in the same area in the, into the wall. Sort of like that, and that's also how life can feel sometimes. I mean, life is hard, guys and gals. It's not, it's not a walk in the park. Um, a lot of us are fortunate enough to not have to experience so many different difficulties when it comes to life, and then a lot of us also that we don't have that, you know, that fortunate stance. Um, a lot of people out there I know, and you're probably one of them who are watching this video, you struggle on a daily basis with something that affects your health or affects your mental health. Um, I'm human. I'm just like everyone out there. I have my moments. Um, I have my battles mentally. But uh, I'm fortunate enough to be able to turn to God um, for a solution, for an escape. And... Uh, I also have a supportive wife and I have amazing kids um, and my wife has been through so much lately more than I wish she had to go through um, health wise my sister has gone through a lot um, I've been through a lot but you know what I still try to hold on to the belief that things can get better I believe that things will be better um, I try to keep the positive outlook on my life not because I want people to see something that isn't there, but because I believe that there is something there that can help other people who do not have it there. Um, if I can't believe, if I can't have a positive outlook, I'm done. I mean, if I can't hold on to a fight, a battle, to continue pushing on, then I've already given up. And that is not the case here. I am not gonna give up. I will never give up. Um, but anyways, guys, I'm back. I'm back on YouTube. Um, I've had to down my time on Twitch. Um, we're only going to be doing, or I'm going to only be doing two times now, on two times a week on Twitch. Once on a weekday and once on a weekend. On the weekend, maybe I'll drop some like Fortnite gameplay or some Dungeon Defenders or uh, some Dying Light or something that me and my wife haven't streamed in a long time that can really make you guys laugh and just have a good time watching. Um, there will be no more camera, no more overlay, um, no more alerts and all that cool stuff. It's just going to be raw, straight up gameplay from my PS4. Maybe I'll be sitting in my recliner in the living room and I, if I feel like getting just going ahead and streaming for you guys. It's just going to be good raw content. Just me and my wife having fun and just enjoying a night. With that said, I am going to be ending my Siege Monday streams. I will no longer be streaming Rainbow Six Siege. Now, this has nothing to do with the crew itself or any of that. It's just... I'm trying to do a couple more things and venture out to a couple more different things here for YouTube um, and for other other stuff like my podcast and other stuff that you guys will be see or be hearing about very soon. Um, I will still be personally playing with my crew. They're my family. A lot of these guys I've met along the way. Some of them are legitimately family. I got my wife and I got my cousin. Um, my other friends like uh, Big Bob, Little Bob, um, I don't care, all of them, uh, Bubba, they have become my family along the way. 
um I have so much love and appreciation for them and I will continue to play with them and have fun with them. It's just, I will not be streaming these things no longer on Twitch. As why I will not have cameras or overlays on my streams anymore is because the PC that I did use, my gaming PC, I had told my wife that if she was able to get this job she wanted to go for, which was a dream job. And she said that, uh, you know, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna get in that. Go for it. I said, go for it, babe. What's the worst that can happen if you get it? They don't provide the equipment. If, they, if you get this job, I will let you use my gaming PC. You can you can gladly use it. I have no problem with that. So uh, she went for it and she got the interview. She nailed the interview and she got the job. <clears throat> so, uh, sorry guys, my, my voice is acting up. Bad. My allergies have been crazy lately. Um, but yeah, so she got the job. So now the, the gaming PC and everything's all set up for her, ready for work. She actually starts today as I'm filming this video. Um, but uh, I fully support it. I had no problem doing that. Um, it, I mean, it makes me happy that she was able to get the job she's always wanted, and I'm glad with it. I just I don't want to reinvest in another PC or laptop at the moment when I have other things I want to do, and things that I'm going forward with with this new project that I will be announcing soon. Um, that I want to be able to put my uh, my extra earned finances and stuff that I have. And I say extra. I, I don't use anything that, of course, that we use to pay bills and. Food and stuff like that. This is stuff that I've earned along the way <clears throat> through Twitch or maybe through uh, through my art stuff like that that I've been saving up. That I want to go ahead and put towards this project that I've been. It's been a big dream of mine for a long time, and you guys will see what it is. Um, but anyways, guys and gals, this is gonna be a dragged out, long freaking video for the beginning start of a statue unboxing. So let's just go ahead and get straight into this unboxing. It's another Batman statue. Um, it's gonna be another one out of the box already. Uh, we'll be having a whole lot more statues coming in, and I will make sure to do those videos properly, including the actual unboxing, opening the tape, the box, you guys can hear the beautiful sounds, and releasing the statue, and all that good stuff. But this one, in the next, I think, three or four will be already out of the box, so uh, bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Unboxing video. Bear with me. But anyways, guys and gals, let's get straight into the statue, and I really do hope you enjoy this one. Alright, guys and gals, well, here we have... The Batman Who Laughs. The Batman Who Laughs is a fictional character in the DC Comics universe. He is a supervillain and the evil counterpart and alternate version of Batman within the multiverse. He is depicted as a hybrid of both Batman, Bruce Wayne, and Batman's arch enemy, Joker, and is a member of the Dark Knights. Now this is a DC collectible statue. Um, when I first saw the statue, I was like, oh, that's a beautiful statue. I just love everything about it. The paint job, the uh, the sculpt of it, the pose that he's striking. Like, I love absolutely everything about it. Um, in one hand, he is holding a card. In the other hand, he is holding some chains or a chain. Um, and then he's just on, like, this base of, like, you know, rubble, destruction, or whatnot. Um, he has this outfit that uh, has a bunch of belts up, a bunch of straps up in the middle, some straps on each side of the soldier, soldier oh my gosh, shoulder. And uh, he has this kind of spiky visor, and his ears are a lot longer and pointier than that of an actual Batman. Um, and then of course he has this collar that's popped and sticking up half over his head. It's amazing. But um, I actually love this because, like I said, just like I read in the beginning, it's kind of like a crossover um, between Batman and the Joker. And if you see up close in his face, you can see that smile, which I'm going to get closer to. Um, he sits at about 9 to 10 inches um, from the bottom of the base to the top of the, uh, the ears right here. Um, there's not much more to it than that that you see. Beautiful statue. It has like a kind of like a weathered bronze uh, leather type look to it color and all it has some shiny um, points to it you know it has a couple of shiny spots to it the other spots are more matte color so glossy i should say not shiny glossy and the rest is matte kind of brings out a kind of almost like it's wet it's just a weathered wet leather looking piece and it's just awesome i love it um so let me go ahead and get some close-up shots and get closer to his face for you guys so you guys can see um, more on that Alright guys and gals, I'm going to be doing some of the camera work, so if it's not the best camera work, I do apologize. I do not have a tripod that can hold this up at the moment, but I will be working on getting one. 
As I said earlier, you can see the face, the nice Joker face there. He does have a dusty head. I'm sorry, guys. He's been sitting on that shelf in the background when you see other Batmans. But, um, but yeah, he does have a dusty head, so I do apologize for that. I will clean him off later. But um, as you can see, that, that Joker-ish crooked smile. You got the belt straps right there going up his uh his torso and on each uh shoulder there and you got the collar that's popped out and you got that one playing card as you can see there kind of looks like cheech and chong for a minute there but anyways you got the other side of it you got all of the uh like the wrinkles within the jacket itself and on the back kind of give it that you know look of it being in in some type of motion like it's been moved or moving and you got the chains that are heading down his wrist into his fist that he is making there and then it continues to go down till about the top of his uh his shin and then you got the rest of the jacket with that weathered bronze leathery type look to it like it's been worn for a while you got the boots that the boots look very very nice like I like the sculpt of the boots. You got the laces going straight up and then it's tied. And you got the other side here. And you got the base, which is just pretty much just like some destruction, some rubble that was on the ground that he's stepping on. And then vice versa on the other side. And then you just have the jacket again, which they made it almost look very similar to his cape. It's got like that cape bottom um, tethered area. And very nice and flowy. And then you have, like I said, the visor up top. The spiked visor. And this collar that goes all the way around. And then that's pretty much it on that. I mean, there's not much more to say about it. It's an awesome, awesome statue. The paint job to me is amazing. Um, I do not see anything wrong with the paint job itself. Let me see if I can get a little closer for you guys. I'm sorry. It's kind of getting blurry there. The paint job itself is amazing. I love the way the paint looks. Um, everything about it is, is applied very well. It looks like the Joker, crazy, you know, bleeding on his teeth a bit. Um, the paint job on this thing, it's a, uh, it's a hit for me. It's definitely not a miss. There, has been a lot of statues that I've gotten that really have crappy, uh, crappy paint application and I've pretty much just, got, just gotten rid of them but um this one doesn't really have that much of paint applications um there is this part here on the nail that I just noticed not anything big it can easily be touched up if you need to touch it up you can touch that up and uh kind of fix it with the same color you got the chains going up and then the overall look of just the uh weathered you know faded leather type look to his outfit it's just it's phenomenal I just love it Everything about the statue is amazing. Um, let me go ahead and there we go. Everything about the statue is amazing. I love every single thing about it. Um, there's a couple others I'm going to be unboxing and sharing with you guys, but this statue only cost me roughly 45 to 50 bucks on Amazon. Um, brand new, of course, and it is legit DC collectibles. It's not an off brand. It's not a rip off. This is straight from DC through Amazon so definitely check it out if you want to own this piece I I really recommend it if you're a fan of Batman and Joker that this is just one of those statue pieces you have to have in your collection um, I am going to be dropping a few more unboxing and reviews of some other crossover Batmans that I do enjoy and here shortly I should be getting a um, Tim Burton a Michael Keaton Batman here soon in the mail that I will be unboxing for you guys too so uh yeah, that's pretty much all I really have on the statue. So I really hope you enjoy this like quick review. Maybe it gives you the, the help that you need to decide whether or not you want to buy it or not. I mean, that's up to you. 45 to 50 bucks on Amazon. I, I really feel you can't beat that. And it's a great piece to add to my collection. Like I said, it's, it's about 9 to 10 inches high from the bottom of the base to the top of the ears over here. Anyways, guys and gals, that's really all I have for you guys today on this video on my return back. I know I did talk quite a while in the beginning and do apologize i just had to give you guys an update and kind of just events so i feel like you guys understand you're there and you care about the emotional states of different people you guys enjoy watching and if you subscribe to that means you support what i do i really appreciate it um but this is the batman 
in my hands. This is from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger. I do have a pretty big hand. Um, so that would tell you right here, it's literally, I would say almost about 11 inches high, 10, 11 inches. I know I said nine and 10, but looking at it now, it's more about 11, 10 to 11. But anyways, guys and gals, this is my statue review of the Batman Who Laughs at DC Collectibles. Definitely go check him out. I think he's worth um, looking at. And I hope that my video was able to give you guys a little insight of how it looks up front, up close and all, and uh, the different paint applications and all on it. I think it was definitely worth the investment of 45 to 50 bucks on Amazon. Go check it out. And if you did pick it up, let me know in the bottom. And if there's something that you'd like to tell me about why you like Batman Who Laughs, why you like this crossover, um, let me know in the comment section as well. I would love to hear why you like it, if he's one of your favorites or not. Um, and I do want to pick up some, uh, I want to read some comics of this. I haven't yet, um, but I would like to. And if you guys know about any comic um, recommendations of where to start um, reading on this guy, please let me know in the comment section below too because I do read comics, but I, I'm not an expert on them by far. I'm not an expert on any of them. So I would love to know where I would pick up or start, or is a good pick up or starting point for the comics for Batman Who Laughs. Um, let me know in the comment section below. Like always guys and gals, please, a lot of you guys who watch these videos and like them or just come here to view them and show me that support, a lot of you guys are not subbed and that hurts the channel. Um, if you really want to support me and you cannot pick up merch or you cannot um, join on Twitch and so on, the best way you can do is just by hitting that subscribe button. Um, just, just click that subscribe button and then hit the bell icon and make sure you put all the notifications that way it alerts you up every time that I'm on and also remember if you like this video please remember to hit that like button at the end of the video just show me that you're liking what I do and if you don't like it guys leave the constructive criticism down in the comment section below let me know that you don't like this content if you want to see other things or if you have another um, budget statue you want to see me go ahead and unbox let me know as well I do want to go for some higher end statues but just not at the moment um, I have to make income before I can invest on the higher end statues. So we're going to be sticking to the uh, budget statues, which I think there's great, great amounts of them. You know, I'm not going to go over $100 on a statue. I think there's great ones um, that really show good artwork and good sculpting and everything um, underneath that budget mark. And then maybe in the future, if things pick up on the channel and I start to get good income and all, then I would go ahead and I'll invest in the higher end statues and do some unboxing and reviews on that as well. Anyways, guys, like always, I love you all. You are all amazing. Don't ever let anyone make you feel like you are less. You all have purpose on this world. And if no one's told you they love you lately, let me be the first one to tell you again and again and again that I love you like crazy. I really appreciate every single one of you guys that come through here to support with a like, a sub, or even a view. Remember, guys, please subscribe. And like always, always good vibes, always good times. And I'll catch all of you guys on the flip side. Till the next video, peace.